Hi, my name is William Schaefer, and I have a wacky craft art idea that I have a lot of fun with, and I think you could also, but it's fairly non-traditional, and I don't even know what to call them. I'll call them 12-inch ruler cartouches, or existential modern cartouches. A cartouche is an Egyptian signature seal, and it was a vertical arrangement of symbols that stood for the name and insignia of the person. So here's the idea. You start with an ordinary wooden ruler and on the back of it you glue found objects. Either bought trinkets or objects you really found on the ground. Now let me show you a few examples, and this is going to be a little bit difficult. Here's one right here. And this is kind of some smiley face erasers and other nonsense stuff. And then you, what you do is you always leave the hole at the top so you can hang it on a nail through the hole. And this is a bunch of her stuff. And I like to find objects on the ground. Uh, a lot of these are stickers and things that I find on the ground. But the 99 cent store has a good collection of inexpensive craft items. Stickers and erasers and little doodads that are kind of interesting to use for this project. And here's one that's kind of interesting. And this is a lot of fun to do. And you can get all kinds of different kinds of things to put on there. This has a bullet shell and a fake coin and a little Bible and a cross and a plastic insect on it. I like Dadaism and the juxtaposition of images that have no relationship. That's kind of fun. And to glue them to the back of a ruler, the back of a ruler, for no reason at all to hang on a nail is even more fun. And here's another one. There's a little feather and a smiley face. I like to include these foam flowers. I like to glue eyeballs on here a lot. I like to include little screws. I find screws and money on the ground a lot. I find coins and fake coins on the ground a lot. And those I usually use in these type of arrangements also. Uh, let's look at some more. This is one of my favorite ones. And I made three of this kind. And this is a bean pod that I glued eyes to. And this one looks kind of like Donald Trump here, you can see. Um, there. And I just made a face on that bean pod. It's just part of the fun. And this is just gluing things with super glue. And there you can see the back of it it's a ruler it's just a ruler but it's wood and it's real wood and that's kind of nice and then you can do whatever you want and it's cheap and inexpensive it doesn't take up much room to hang it on a nail that's pretty easy to do and it doesn't take up much wall space you can hang it I actually have them hang on the door jams the molding surrounding the door it takes up no wall space at all all right let me show you a few things here. This is the ruler pack that I start with. You can buy four of these wooden rulers, and wood is nice. Wood is better than plastic for a dollar. And there, and make sure it has a nice wood grain on the back of it because that makes it more interesting. And then, I don't know how. This is all the objects I have, and we got a lot. We got these foam stickers that 99 Cent Store has a lot of. Um, all kinds of stupid little foam things. Okay, well, all kinds of, see, you can see the stupid little flowers in there. And 99 Cent Store has a lot of these. And nice little religious symbols with crosses that you can use just for the fun of it all. And there's uh, aliens and space aliens and spaceships and planets and letters. And here's some more fake coins. 
and um, oh, little clothes pins and plastic turtles. And then I have a bowl of things I find off the ground. And I was on a movie set and found a bunch of these bullet shell casings, and that's kind of fun. These are real bullet shells. And um, I actually fired some of them. And little plastic hearts. I found these hearts in the street, on, this, on a bunch of them on the, uh, the grass by some something, who knows. And stupid little nuts and odd pieces of jewelry and whatnot. I find a lot of jewelry and little plastic toys, and I find a lot of these kind of tickets. And it's a way to be creative and make artwork without really having to draw, without having to do the traditional drawing. And you can just glue a few things on a ruler, make a statement, and it's over. It's fun, and you can give them away. So that's my idea. I don't even know what to call them. I'll call them the Magical Ruler Cartouche. The Magical Ruler Cartouche. All right, let's look at some more. I have a whole box filled with these somewhere. All right, I've probably made 50 or 60 of these because they're easy to make and they're fun. And the key to making them is pick objects that really look good next to each other so you have a good distribution of color and a shape and of texture and the placement, the spacing between them is very important. And I usually will arrange the items on a ruler and just look at it for several days or several weeks before I get to the point where I glue them down. So I've been doing this for about a year now. I've been making these for about a year. And um, it came from this idea. I like to do a lot of assembly artwork. And this is a cutting board where I glued a bunch of objects on the cutting board. And that's very much fun, like a farm with an alien visitor. And here's another one, and this is a fun one. This one took a long time, and this is like the summer of love. And this is fun. This is the same idea, but these are cutting boards. So buy a cutting board for $2 and glue a bunch of stuff to it. It's already got a hook to hang it on the wall, and it looks nice because it's a wood grain. And what a silly, fun thing. I forgot about those. And here's some more bean people. I really like these bean people. Although it doesn't come out so well on the uh, video, but they're fun. And I'm kind of reluctant to unpack this whole thing here because they're packed so nicely. But here's a fun one. And this has a little burr and a piece of cut glass and some other things that you can't really tell close up. But then if we go, I like to glue the eye on and there's the cut glass and there's the holy grail and it's just a lot of fun. Here's another one. Starts with a peace sign. There you can see the hole and then some type of metal apparatus and a screw and a flower with an eyeball and a bullet shell casing and a peanut and another screw. And isn't that fun? Just stupid fun. And, uh, oh, these are two kind of nice ones. And then we'll stop here. Here's the hook. And then get it? I love Jesus, the eye on the cross. The Holy Grail. There you really see, I love Jesus, and the smiley face, and the screw in the Bible. And here's some more with the faces. That's a, a glue tip. You can put anything on here just as a splash of color, and another life preserver ring, sticker, and some more silly things, and a button, and a fish, 
and there summer camp all right okay well that's my idea for the magic ruler cartouches and I finally thought of a name of it and try it but the basic idea is take a piece of scrap wood and make it into a piece of artwork glue some things to it in a pleasing arrangement for no other reason than you find them pleasing it doesn't have to have value or meaning or anything in fact the less overt propaganda symbolic meaning it really has the more interesting it will be the more it's an unrelated collection of data items unexpectedly placed next to each other both new and old and of value and cheap the more interesting it will be and you can make a lot of them and have a lot of fun and i suggest you try it the magic ruler cartouche try it at home thank you